Welcome to the Square Potholder tutorial. For this potholder you will use a blue, green and a white cotton thread size 3 and a crochet hook 3.5 mm or E4 American size. At first you will make a slip knot. Once you have the loop you will insert your crochet hook and we will make six single crochet around the thread. Loop the th tail end of the thread, hold it in place and insert your crochet hook inside the opening. Pull the thread through, hook your crochet hook around the thread and pull it through the two loops. This is the single crochet. Make six single crochet on this thread loop. This is my fifth single crochet and one more. Now pull on the tail end of the thread to tighten the circle and insert your needle into the first single crochet loops. Insert your hook under the loop and pull the thread through all the loops. You now made a slip stitch to connect the row to form a disc shape. In the second round you will make two single crochet in each previous single crochet for a total of 12. First make a chain stitch by pulling your thread through and now insert your hook into the first single crochet loop and make two single crochet in the same crochet loop. Now insert your hook in the same crochet loop and pull your thread through. Continue with two single crochet in each crochet loop. You will have a total of 12 single crochet in this round. This project starts from the inside and will move outward. We start with a circle in the center and in the third row we will shape the corners of the square. This is my ninth single crochet. Ten. Eleven. 12 and now connect with a slip stitch. You will add 8 single crochet in the third round. You will start with a chain stitch and in the first crochet loop make 3 single crochets for the first corner, 2, and three single crochet in the same loop. Next are two sets of one single crochet in a loop. So one single crochet in each loop. For the next corner you make three single crochet in the same loop. Two and there's the third. Next you will have two sets again of single crochet. So this is my first single crochet and another single crochet and a corner again with three single crochet in the same loop. One. There is the second one and my third. And another set of two single crochets in individual loops. This is my first one, 
Ah, there's my second one. And the last corner with three single crochets. This is the second and my third one. And for the last straight, two single crochets. So this is my first one and another one. Now connect the row with a slip stitch. In the next row you will add another 8 single crochets for a total of 28 single crochets. Starting the row with a chain stitch. Insert your needle in the first single crochet loop and make three single crochets in this same loop to form the corner. We add two single crochet to each straight side. So this is the first, the second, third, and fourth single crochet on this side. Next you will make the corner with three single crochets in the same crochet loop and continue with a straight of four single crochets in each crochet loop. Let's fast forward to the end of this row. Connect with a slip stitch. Each row you add eight single crochets. The increases are made in the corners. Start the row with one chain stitch and make your three single crochets for the corner. For the straight in this row, you will have six individual single crochets. My first one. Previously, I had four single crochets in the straight. I add two more in each row. So this is the fifth single crochet and the sixth. For the corner you will have the three single crochets in the same loop and thereafter continue with six individual single crochets in each straight. Continue this way and you will have in each straight two single crochet to add on. Once you have completed the 30th row, you will switch to the white thread after your slip stitch. Make like a chain stitch, but pull the thread through and cut the thread. Pull the excess out and tighten the thread just a little. Next make a slip knot with your white thread. Insert your needle in the loop, tighten it. Insert your crochet hook in the crochet loop in the first crochet loop and pull the white thread through through the two loops. Now start with a chain stitch. Keep both tail ends close to the top of the crochet stitches. Make your three single crochets for the corner. and keep the tail ends close and work them into your crochet stitches. This way you don't have to worry about working them in afterwards. Now make your straight with single crochets in individual crochet loops. Continue as before with the straight and the corners and let's forward to the end of this row. 
Once you've reached the last individual single crochet, connect with a slip stitch. Now make an additional slip stitch in the next stitch. Now continue with eight chain stitches to make the um, hanger loop. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Connect the chain to the slip stitch with a slip stitch. Next, make a chain stitch and turn your project around. Make 12 single crochet around the chain. I'm sorry about the quality of my video. I'm hoping to get a new camera eventually that will let me set the focus. I'll move on to the end of the single crochets around the loop. Once you've reached the 12th single crochet, slip stitch in the next loop. You will then continue with slip stitches in the back loop. Slip stitch each back loop of this uh, project. This is actually the finishing touch of our pot holder. Let's move on to the last of this row. Connect with a slip stitch to the hanger loop. Now hook in the thread, pull the thread through and cut to an agreeable length. Tighten the thread a little bit and work the rest of your thread into the project. Cut the excess of the threads. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Please subscribe to my channel and visit my blog.